good youtube it's brianna in today's video i'm going to be doing a pack with me this part of the video is just going to be like some essentials that i may need to take on my trip so i just wanted to show you guys that so if you guys want to see basically me get ready to go to florida stay tuned for that also um be sure to like share comment subscribe turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every single time i post a video check all my links in the description box down below for my instagram and also i sell lashes so for my lash business instagram and my lash business website it'll be on the screen somewhere but i didn't want to make this intro too long because i wanted to show you guys what i got so we're gonna get into it all right y'all so i immediately came to the wet ones because you know we're in a panoramic so we're gonna need disinfectant so i love these personally because they're really good and they smell really good so i'm just gonna get some clorox i'm gonna get one pack oops i'm gonna get one pack um, these are good for bacteria, so we're gonna get those. And then I was looking up here to um, first aid kit. You know, always gotta have a first aid kit. Oh, here we are. Okay, Tylenol. How ironic it's right there. Tylenol um, for any pain. You know, you always gotta have Tylenol. Either you're gonna need it or somebody else is gonna need it. So, have Tylenol. Hand sanitizer, I have so much at home, so I'm just gonna take this from my house. Need some of the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser or Daily Cleanser because this is the only face wash I use. So I need the travel size of it because you know, going on a plane, it's you can't take large items. Um, what else do I need? Ooh, Cocoa Butter Vaseline, the best, y'all. Put y'all on. This is really good for dry skin, cracked lips you know ashiness all of the above so get you some of this as well good for on the go deodorant that's essential as well so i'm gonna need another one of my deodorants i'm gonna probably just use this dub one so i'm gonna take this one okay let's see what else do i need i really um do love these little things they're really easy to take on the go put anything um, mouthwash face wash but i do have this little um, small one so i just put like lotion and try to fit some spray in there maybe i don't know guys i'm kind of debating if i want to wait we'll let it in there for a second i think we're pretty much good as far as this goes but i also just have this just for home like because i need some more of this but these are just a few of the items that I got so far in my baskets. Tylenol, um, deodorant, Vaseline, a little first aid kit, a first aid kit, and then some Clorox wipes and facial wash, you know. Gotta have the essentials. It is a new day and now I'm currently getting ready for a wax. Well, I'm not getting ready. I'm going to a wax appointment right now as we speak. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along. My phone is moving. I wanted to take you guys along with me for that. Um, I wanted to take you guys along with me for that. This is actually not my first wax, but this is part of the pe prepare, you know what I'm saying? This is part of me preparing with you guys and getting ready for Florida. So, yeah, pretty excited. I'm parked now, took my seatbelt off period i'm about to go in you know gotta be max mask maxed what masked up mask mask up mask up mask up you know what i'm saying panoramic can't get sick but um yeah guys i love the black mask like even though it probably doesn't it doesn't match with nothing i have on do i have a blue mask no i don't so we're gonna go with this one Every single time before I go to get wax, I'm nervous. I don't know why. I'm just, this is not something I'm not used to. You know what I'm saying? So let's go in, and I'm gonna hit you guys when I I'm gonna hit you guys when I get in there. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's very thin. I told you it gets even thinner. I told you. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, try the glue. Lip gloss, I don't I know. Lip gloss too. I don't Lip know. Gloss. But I just said the glue pen. It's probably this part is probably gonna hurt more because it's more hair right there. 
Still don't have a lot. Take hold the waist beat. Where's it at? Yeah, right there. That ain't becoming no point. What's good, y'all? So, um, the last clip you probably saw was me getting my um, wax. This clip is going to be me getting my nails, feet, and eyebrows done. So, let me just put that up. So, I actually broke a nail, so I have to get that fixed. Um, I need a refill. Not a refill. I need my toes repainted because it's chipped. The polish is chipped now. And then my eyebrows, I just need to clean up. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's pretty much all. I just wanted to up you got update you guys of what you guys are gonna see now part uh, part of my prepare with me so stay tuned for that yeah so my nails are pretty much done I got them done probably like a week and a half ago they pretty they still look pretty good I just broke one so I'm gonna either see if he can glue it. I have the nail so I'm gonna see if he can glue it back on I doubt he will he's probably gonna redo the whole thing um I don't know of all freaking parking spots I don't know why people park right next to me yeah, move up there. But, um, yeah, y'all. So, I'm going to record y'all. I'm going to record when I get into the nail salon. But I just wanted to record now since I'm parked, waiting for my appointment set time. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to um, get back with y'all when I get inside. Peace out. All right, y'all. So, I'm in the back. About to get my eyebrows done. I wanted to record that. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to record it. Why not? I'm at a different place. So... I might still record it though for y'all, but I'm just waiting, waiting, playing to win a game, but we're here inside. So yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all when they start to get done and these feet, cause they look a mess. And then, who knows? All right, peace. <laughs> everything done so he fixed my nail he's a goat i got my eyebrows done and then my feet as you guys saw in the last clip it is hot in here let me turn the air on before i suffocate and die but um yes i love my eyebrows i love my nails um they're just fixed but they're really cute and then my feet they're nice so i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip um hope you guys enjoyed this part but yeah y'all all right, y'all, so I'm at the hair store. I need some, I need a bonnet and I need some things. I need some edge control and stuff, so I'm about to get that. So y'all about to see. Y'all, I'm getting my hair done. So, yeah, I'm gonna record the process. y'all so we're done the braiding process look how precise the parts are like she's a perfectionist period anyways she's doing the um lock so i'm gonna record when she gets towards the front but look at this period all right
good y'all so the last clip you saw i was getting my hair done it's done completed it's cute whatever um now it's the packing portion um of the pack prepare with me video so i wanted to unbox my new suitcase with you guys because period 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 is so cute and i'm so excited um and then we're gonna get into the actual packing process you know me putting everything in the bag how i'm gonna how i'm gonna do it and i also have some packing cubes here so i'm gonna use probably a few of these um just to organize my bag a little bit you can get these from amazon or shein i love packing cubes just because of the fact that they're so easy to you know move around in the suitcase whatever the case may have you whatever whatever may have you whatever um so yes mines are in pink but let's get this suitcase unboxed so we can pack up um i opened the box but didn't kind of ah i opened the box but i didn't open the box so yeah let's take it out <laughs> this cute little baggy dust bag whatever you want to call it probably dust bag it's so cute and it's by calpac 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 i'm not sure how to pronounce it but yes they have a cute little dust bag really cute really fancy um we're gonna pull that down and it's kind of like a marble um looking design really love it really thought it was you know just i don't know a calm suitcase i needed a new one so my mom um me and my mom were actually looking at this during the sale where my mom and i were looking at this during the sale and we were able to cop it up so i'm happy on that because baby when i go to the airport they bang your bags up and once your bag is banged up enough it starts to wear and tear you know what i'm saying so i needed a new one it was where it was way overdue so you know i'm gonna miss my old victoria's secret bag but you know new new me new improved whatever you want to call it okay so this is what it looks like it's a pretty good size i would say um so yes it comes with a lock so you can lock it with digits uh, passcode whatever and then a side bar so that if you wanted to hold it kind of like this you hold it like this and then it has legs on the bottom so if you want to slide it across the floor it can kind of slide four wheels one two three four and then it also has your typical top bar for a regular suitcase and then it has two different um compartments um one compartment i think is to extend like the bottom portion of the bag you guys will see when i open it and then the other portion is obviously inside of the bag so let me just open it up for y'all let me open it up for y'all and i'll show y'all what it looks like got a handler very gently okay and i'm gonna explain each part what i use each part of the suitcase for so this first part bear with me guys because this is heavy this first part of the suitcase it comes with two parts um, I'm going to show you the first part. So this is the first part where I will typically put my clothes and all just simply my clothes. Um, so as far as packing cubes go, I mean, they're not they're not really needed for this suitcase, but I'm still going to use them because it keeps me organized and it's easier. It's an easier way to look for things. So, yes, um, this is just a nice little kind of like a tie to keep them together. And then it's an extra net for protect for, I guess, protection. And then you unzip and you're inside you don't see it okay that's the first part of the bag oh, bear with me it's heavy okay the second part um really neat and easy um this bottom portion as you guys see i usually put my socks i'll put like you know some socks in there and then this very top part i'll put my undergarments you know bras and underwear and that part and then the very bottom in which i was talking to you guys about before um this is where all of my shoes will go now me i'm a very simple person i don't like to do too much i'll just take one pair of shoes for four outfits in a row and be cool but to this 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 trip i wanted to go all out and have a pair of shoes for each outfit so um that's what this zipper is for um where is it at 
it's not the very bottom, but it kind of just extends it a little bit. Like, it? it just extends it a little bit. Let me show you guys. At, okay. I think I unzipped it earlier, but it just extends it. I'm not really sure how, how I should show you, but yes, it just extends it. So that way, I guess this part is more, you know, deeper and it's more spacious, as you guys can see. So that's really nice. So that's the exciting... Um, suitcase part so i will angle the phone down once we get into the actual packing part but i wanted to show you guys what i have in my carry-on because that is part of the packing i it's nice metallic rose gold and it says pink on it so i have two pairs of sunglasses because i don't know i don't know about y'all but most of the time when i get off the airplane it's bright early in the day not bright early in the day but it's it's fairly in the middle of the day let's say in the middle of the day and most of the time when i go off the plane it's not raining i don't know it's always sunny every time i go to the plane i get lucky it's always sunny so assuming that it's going to be sunny in florida i'm taking two pairs of shades i like to keep them because sometimes i'll look for them and when i throw my shades on it be like oh don't have them so always good to have some shades i have my airpods because these are just essential i mean on a plane you guys should know that you, you just need headphones so make sure you always keep a pair of headphones with you always and then i have my tripod of course because when i'm vlogging in public i don't really like i mean holding my phone is this kind of better than it is holding a tripod because then people know you're vlogging but i don't really care either way because i've gotten used to vlogging so i just keep my tripod in there i'm kind of scared to put my like leave my airpods out because they fall a lot but now i also have my mcm purse which has my credit card my id all of that all of that sort so i'm just going to keep my airpods in here because i'm very very scared um very very scared of them falling out they my airpods they're very they love to fall out of my purse so i mean well of out of anything so i keep them in my purse and then i have a blanket because it gets very cold on the flight you guys if you've ever been on a plane you should know that and then i have baby wipes because you know if you get sweaty during the day you're gonna want to have a quick not rinse off but a quick wipe a quick wipe down and then it's always good to keep some clorox wipes we're in a panoramic you know what i'm saying so whenever you touch the doorknob the door handles you gotta touch the stall. You can quick, you can quickly wipe it off, wipe it down. If you touch anything dirty, you touch your phone, wipe that down. Whatever. It's good. It's just good to have Clorox wipes, you know. It's just good to have on the go wipes. And then I have some um, Tylenol, which I'm gonna take out of the package, but I kind of just for the for the um, for the sake of this video, I just kind of threw it in the bag so you guys can see it really quickly. Okay, that's done. Now we're gonna get into the actual packing part. So, with, uh, what I like to do is I like to do, I'll call it the hard stuff first. I'm going to take my packing cubes out of the bag. So I kind of tied them tightly. And I'm going to do shirts and then shorts. Um, now, I have a dress. Okay, I have a dress and a jumper. So, I'm going to put my dress and my jumper with my shirts. And then I'm just going to leave my shorts together. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, that's really all I'm going to use my packing cubes for. But, like I said before, regardless... Um, Packing cubes are very, very essential in packing just because, like, they just make it so easy to just look. Like, I know where my shirts are, and I know where my shorts are. I just quickly look. So, I'm going to use this packing cube for my shirts. So, I just have, you know, my shirts slash dresses slash rompers. If that makes sense. So, let me just show you guys. Okay. So... I'm gonna try to hold this up for y'all. Um, so I have my first shirt in here and this also has straps, um, so that's really good. And then I have my dress, which if you watch my Shein haul, this color looks very familiar. If not, you guys will see it on me on the trip anyways. Okay, so just stick that in there. And I'm gonna just speed the rest of the process up, but yeah, you guys get the drift. <laughs>
Okay guys, I just finished putting my shirts and my shorts in the packing cubes. Now I'm about to stuff them, not stuff them, but I'm about to put, place them in the bag. And since we're only staying four days, it makes my life so much easier with the packing cubes because I have so much space left. Really, I could have put all in one, but I wanted to separate it. So, I'm just going to show you guys. So first, I'm going to put the shorts at the bottom that boom bam bow and then i'll put i'm gonna put i'm just gonna stuff the shirts slash rompers right there period period and then i'm able to buckle it up like a seat belt and boom it made me very organized very organized so that way i know what to look for when i'm in my bag and whatnot and then i'm just gonna place the net over top and then it also makes sure that nothing like nothing's gonna fall out anyway because of how this um is structured but still it's good it's good to be able to know okay now we're gonna move on to the undergarments. So I'm not gonna really record me sh um, putting undergarments, but since I'm gonna put my swimsuits, I guess with my undergarments, I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So I okay. So how I do this is I take two socks. So I put them, kind of just stuff them in a mini compartment, and then I'm gonna quickly just put all my undergarments in this little zip part. But I'm gonna speed that up because you know that kind of kind of doesn't matter so we're gonna speed it up real quick So then I'm just going to put my swimsuits. I'm going to put my swimsuit in this mini mini compartment. <laughs> I'm kind of hot <laughs> not gonna lie so um I do have a cover-up and I have my night clothes so as far as my cover-up my night clothes I'm gonna um reopen my shirts um packing cube and I'm just gonna put my I'm also gonna put my um my night clothes in my I'm going to put my cover up in my shorts. So, okay. I'm going to put my cover up with my shorts and my um Victoria's Secret um jumper whatever you put, whatever you call this um night clothes with my shirts. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> all 
right y'all so i have everything pretty much packed as far as clothes now i just gotta pack my shoes and then we're done so um yeah Ugh, i got y'all i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired and yeah i don't even know really what to say but i'm about to put my shoes in this compartment so <sighs> i don't have that many shoes like i told you guys before i got my Yeezy slides. I got my um not Victoria's Secret. My old navy thong flip flops. I got my go to Crocs, which I'm actually wearing to the airport tomorrow. So I'm gonna leave these out. And then I got my thong um brown sandals. So we're just gonna put those in the bag. <laughs> easy because i only have three pairs of shoes if you're really going to be clear here so i mean the shoes have all type of space so now we can zip it all up <sighs> guys we are done with the packing i'm kind of tired i'm not gonna lie and that was like a lot of work so like i told you guys before i'm wearing my crocs tomorrow um to the airport so I'm just gonna show you guys my bag one last time so this is everything yes i'm gonna fix i'm gonna fix all of this um but it's just like a lot to hold with one hand um this is usually what i do with my swimsuits anyway is i'll just stuff them in this little compartment and then all my um my bra and my underwear they go in this part um they are folded if you, you guys can't tell because they're stuffed but they are folded and then i got my socks which that's why this big old bump is here but now it's time to close it guys so we're gonna we're gonna close it let's just put i got all these extra stuff okay don't mind my room guys i'm kind of in, 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 in the midst of cleaning it up obviously because you know when you're going away you kind of have a lot to do so just makes a lot of time so now we're gonna just close it up i know for a fact my jaw's not overweight because i have so much space still left in this bag oh before i forget we definitely do have um toiletries that we gotta do that we gotta put in here so um before i go to sleep i will well no in the morning i will put my toiletries in here and possibly show you guys but I do want to close this up now because, I don't know, I just need it out of the way and on my face. But I will be packing all my toiletries and things, but I have to use those things tonight. So, can't put them away just yet. I gotta use them tonight and in the morning. Gotta wash my face and brush my teeth and all that in the morning. So, I will show you guys all my toiletries in the morning. If I don't, I would definitely show you guys in the hotel. But right now, I'm just gonna zip this up because I always do this every time I travel. I zip, I zip my bag up and I put it in the corner of the room. And then in the morning when we get ready to leave, um, I put all my toiletries in a bag and then I'll put them. So I'm going to put all my toiletries in the packing cubes. So you guys are going to see that. And it is going to fit because I still got mad space in this. So. Here is my bag. So we need to take this little thing off. I'm going to rip it off. But yeah, y'all. We're pretty much done with this part of packing, but like I said, we still got one more piece to do, but I typically just pull my bag to the side, but I hope you guys enjoyed that portion. <laughs> I'm hot, <laughs> and most of y'all are probably saying it's because you got on this hoodie, but yeah. All right, y'all, so see y'all in the next clip. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys what's in my packing cubes as far as toiletries really quick. Um, I have a little spray. I have my toothpaste. I have the Listerine that, you, that I was showing you guys. Uh, edge control, my lotion from Bath & Body Works. Some deodorants, my toothbrush, my retainers, and my face wash. And then another Nivea lotion. And then lastly, I have Tylenol, because you know, y'all know. 
And then in here I have makeup, so I'm not going to go into, into depth with that. Um, but I just have concealer, brushes, eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, but um, mascara, lip liner, powder, and lashes. So yeah, that's what's in there, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications on, and be sure to check the link in my description box for all my social media. But I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, girls, girls.